Islamic religious leaders have traditionally been people who, as part of the clerisy, mosque, or government, performed a prominent role within their community or nation. However, in the modern contexts of Muslims minorities in non-Muslim countries as well as secularized Muslim states like Turkey, Indonesia and Bangladesh, religious leadership may take a variety of non-formal shapes. Compared to religious leaders, clerics of the other Abrahamic faiths, Islamic clergy are said to resemble rabbis and not priests. Unlike Catholic priests they do not serve as intermediaries between mankind and God, have process of ordination, or sacramental functions, but instead serve as exemplars, teachers, judges, and community leaders, providing religious rules to the pious on even the most minor and private matters. Alim. <inaudible> <inaudible> Alim. Ulama, ULM, Arabic, Elma Ulam, singular Alim scholar religious sciences. In its narrow sense it refers to scholars of Islamic jurisprudence. In the broader sense it refers to those who have studied a broad range of essentially Islamic disciplines for several years, for example the Hadith and the Mahadith. They represent the ij ma, or Islamic consensus of the Ummah on religious issues. This does not mean that there can be no disputes, far from it, but they should be aware of what counts as the main consensual opinion, of other dissenting views and their objections. Allama Allama is an honorary and prestigious title carried by only the very highest scholars of Islamic thought, jurisprudence, and philosophy. It is used as an honorific in Sunni Islam as well as in Shia Islam. Allama is a leader for the Islamic faith. Al-Mami Al-Mami is a title of West African Muslim rulers, used especially in the conquest states of the 19th century. Caliph Caliph was first used for Abu Bakr, who was elected head of the Muslim community after the Prophet Muhammad's death. <inaudible> Imam Imam is an Arabic word meaning, leader. The ruler of a country might be called the Imam, for example. The term, however, has important connotations in the Islamic tradition especially in Shia belief. In Sunni belief, the term is used for the founding scholars of the four Sunni madhabs, or schools of religious jurisprudence fiqh. It is commonly used to refer to the official that leads the prayers at the mosques. Meanwhile, in Brunei, Singapore and Malaysia, those who lead any prayers in any places such as at home, are also called imam. <laughs> Grand Imam The Grand Imam or Imam of Imams. Arabic, al Imam al Akbar of the Al Azhar Mosque and Al Azhar University is a prestigious Sunni Islam title and a prominent official title in Egypt. It is considered by some Muslims to indicate the highest authority in Sunni Islam for Islamic jurisprudence. The Grand Imam holds a great influence on followers of the theological Ash'ari and Maturidi traditions worldwide, while the defenders of the Athari and Salafi ideologies find their leaders in the Arabian Peninsula. The concept of imam has its origins in the Quran. Hazrat Ibrahim was promoted as imam after his successful sacrifice. Every person at the day of judgment will also be called by his imam. And there is an imam e mabin who encompasses the whole universe as per the teachings of the holy book. Noble imperial sheikh is the title for the grand imam of al hakika Mazan Mazani Sufi order. Topic: <laughs> Grand Mufti. The title of Grand Mufti Arabic, Muftiyam refers to the highest official of religious law in Sunni Muslim community. Muezzin Muezzin the word is pronounced this way in Turkish, Urdu, etc., in Arabic, it is muathi muathin mun m -ash is any person at the mosque who makes the adhan, or athan call to prayer for the Friday prayer service and the five daily prayers, or salat. Some mosques have specific places for the adhan to be made from, such as a minaret or a designated area in the mosque. 
Major mosques usually have a person who is called the servant of the mosque. He usually is the person who performs the athan. In the case of small mosques, the imam of the mosque would perform the athan. Topic: <inaudible> Muhtahid. <inaudible> An interpreter of the Quran and Hadith, the Islamic scriptures. These were traditionally muftis who used interpretation to clarify Islamic law, but in many modern secular contexts, Islamic law is no longer the law of the land. In that case, the traditional mufti may well be replaced by a university or madrasa professor who informally functions as advisor to the local Muslim community in religious matters such as inheritance, divorce, etc. KYAI. KYAI or Kiai is a title originally used in Javanese culture. Only a male person is called with this appellation. His wife is called NYAI. In early modern times it is mainly used for the headmaster of a Pandic Pasantran. However, nowadays it is common in Indonesia to call any elderly preacher from any cultural background with this title. Due to animistic belief of ancient Javanese people, the title KYAI is also used to call almost all persons and things venerated. Therefore, it is also common too for Chris, weapons, gamelan, trees and certain venerated cattle. Titles used only by Shia Muslims Ayatollah Ayatollah Arabic, Eight All Persian, Adel is a prestigious title given to major Shia clergymen. Ayatollah means, sign of God. Those who carry it are considered experts in Islamic studies. God is one in the favor. <laughs> Grand Ayatollah Only a few of the most important Ayatollah are accorded the rank of Grand Ayatollah, Ayatollah Uzma. Great sign of God. This usually happens when the followers of one of the ayatollahs refer to him in many situations and ask him to publish his juristic book in which he answers the vast majority of daily Muslim affairs. The book is called Risala, which is usually a reinvention of the book Al Urwatu El Wudka, according to their knowledge of the most authentic Islamic sources and their application to current life. Topic. See also. Succession to Muhammad List of Caliphs List of Grand Imams of Al-Azhar List of Grand Ayatollahs List of Miraji References, <references>